Hey there, fellows. Alright, so check out what I've got myself for this episode. Right here we have half a car to play with. As for what we have in mind, we'd like to find a couple of wheels, though not necessarily the same size as these. We'll go ahead and connect those to a crankshaft, start the engine, which will obviously be fitted with a tiny fuel tank and a pump, a battery, though we might skip that part, since we'll need some kind of dry charged unit. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll either see the engine rotating around its own axis, or since it will be quite a bit heavier than those wheels, it'll go somewhere. Just picture a sort of carriage with two wheels and a motor in the middle, with no gearbox or clutch of any sorts to be found, or anything else. Okay, let's put together that mysterious carriage and send it to rove around somewhere. Let's do this. Self-propelled engine, first to run. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, fellas, we've made it to a field, as we do sometimes. Right here we have a, a small ravine. You might have seen us come here on a few occasions. We've brought the motor out here. And here are the wheels we'll be using. Why this particular size? Well, as you might imagine, the height measured from the crankshaft axis and to the uppermost point of that engine, we were looking at approximately 630 millimeters. Yeah, something along those lines. 630 mil, sounds about right. And so we factored in a bit of extra height, made them a bit taller. These wheels turned out huge, but well, there you go. As they say, it is what it is. Now there's the matter of what seems to be the problem. It's all good. Carry on with installation. So this is a 1.6, right? Oh, it's a 1.3 liter. Oh, for God's sake. So it's pretty weak. Especially considering these huge-ass wheels are attached straight to the crank, this motor is not going to have an easy time spinning them up. There is the off chance that it might start to spin, though. Who knows, anything can happen. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, hang it up and start it. Let's do this. Alright guys, we are ready to rumble. Let's try firing it up. <laughs> Looks like we're doing another take. Yeah, we will need to do a second take. Aw oh, man, now we have to get it back up here. Far out. Alright, let me tell you what exactly went wrong. The motor didn't have enough time to fire up. We've got it hung up on a metal chain, and it slipped off because of the vibrations that went through it. We secured it with a bit of electrical tape. And now we try that again. At least the carriage is fine, nothing seems to have fallen off or broken, and that's nice to know. 
Поэтому... I take two. Поехали еще раз. О, 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 о. Ой, ой, он завелся. Okay, it started. Он завелся. It did start, but something went wrong. That was a good save. Awesome. Turn it off. Uh, you saw how that third take turned out? It didn't. I mean the second one. This is gonna be number three. Oh, no you don't. Don't you go grabbing any sticks now. <laughs> Looks like I won't be needing that stick after all. That's a lot of revs. A lot. Looks like there will be an episode too. Yeah. Looks like the metal pulley fell apart. The pulley's broken. I had a sneaking suspicion that it'd fall apart. Though a while back we did weld a few engines together for our Gennady build. And those pulleys held up fine. Apparently those weren't... They weren't under so much stress. Well guys, you saw that we're experiencing some technical difficulties. Though we did have our suspicions about that iron pulley. Which had a few recesses drilled in to balance it out. So it fell apart. And we are lacking a wheel. No worries, I guess we try firing it up while it's on its side. We will need to put some work into reinforcement. The simple and quick solutions, they didn't work. So we'll need to rethink our design and modify a few things here and there. For now though, we'd just like to see it working a bit as it is. If it'll even run. It will! Yay! But how do we shut it down? Didn't think that one through. That seems like a good way to go. We need to spin it up. Go for it. It's just a bit unstable lying on this incline. Where are we at? This is take number... Five? Five. Your way? What your way? Run your way? Or look? I take five. It's laying down a pretty sick beat. <laughs> Screw this. <laughs> That's a cool dance it's doing. <laughs> and now what? We're gonna wait for it to use up all the fuel? We didn't think that one through either. Alright fellows, here's the situation. As you can see, one of the wheels fell off because of that pulley. After that we put it on its side, got it started, and it had a mad rhythm going. Just like a bona fide drummer. All of the DJs out there should take notice. Now something curious seems to be happening, with the revs climbing up. Maybe it just warmed up? I don't know what's happening to it. In any case though, we will get this thing to work. We just need to modify the pulleys. Perhaps we get some sort of support going, in the form of a wheel, a ski or something, to keep it stable. And yeah, we will fire it up. Right fellas, we might not be looking at a 107% success rate, but we definitely made it to 95. To be continued, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss it. Send in those comments and suggestions. Give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Can someone tell me how much fuel that engine consumes? Does anybody even know? 200 grams an hour, and there's a good liter in there. Did anybody bring some meat so that we can at least make some shashlik? On top of that motor.